Hey guys, it's Dawn. Um, I am I'm sorry to mean to shake you. Um, I am coming at you this evening from my dad's house um, in Houston. Um, I wanted to make a video. And I'm talking kind of soft because my dad is finally asleep. I wanted to make a video and let you know where I've been. I have received uh, some emails and I, you know, I wanted to share with you guys what was going on. Thank you guys for your concern. If I had fallen off the face of the earth, if Father had put anything on my heart. Um, for the last six weeks, since before Passover, um, my dad has had some serious cardiac issues to where I have been here most of the six weeks in Houston with my dad. Um... I finally got to go home for three days last week and spend the first Sabbath with my, with, with my husband in, in weeks. Um, but I am in Houston. I am at my dad's house. He is home in his own bed now. We are not in a hospital. Um, my dad, my dad is dying. Um, I, um, I guess it was, it was before Passover that um, he started having some serious issues with his congestive heart failure. It had been pretty consistent. He was, you know, living, living successfully with it. But he started having issues with his congestive heart failure. And then it turned out where he was needing, he was having angina and was needing a nitro tablet one day a week. And then it turned into five serious episodes, consistent, um, five nights in a row. And then that turned into our first hospital stay, our first ICU, our first get your affairs in order. We could lose him on the table. Um, so the last six weeks, I have been in Houston taking care of my dad, going from ambulance to um, Heart and Vascular Institute at Memorial Hermann Hospital in the Medical Center to another hospital here, to this ICU, to the high-risk angioplasty department. So, um, praise Father, praise Yah, hallelujah. He is home tonight in his own bed. Um, <clears throat> I am exhausted. I miss my husband, and I miss you guys. And I thank you so much for the emails. Um, and I just want you to know that your prayer requests are not ignored. Just because I'm not responding doesn't mean they're not getting prayed for. So I want you to rest assured in that. And just because Father has myself and my husband in this caretaking position right now for my father, for my dad, <clears throat> doesn't mean you aren't loved, doesn't mean you aren't thought of, and doesn't mean you're not prayed for. Um, because we are heading into some very, very serious times. And the Father is putting some things on my heart um, that I am supposed to talk about. And He's given me some instruction that I need to study before I speak about something. I need to study some more uh, before I speak about a, a certain dream that He gave me. But um, I have not gone MIA. I am not MIA. I, I don't have a lick of makeup on right now. Um, I am, sorry, I keep, sh I keep shaking you guys. I am utterly and completely exhausted. And I'm, I'm just, I'm numb. I'm numb. That's what I am. I'm numb. But doing the best we can. The fabulous team of doctors at three different institutions and all the incredible ICU nurses and everybody, you know, especially because my father has profound hearing loss and I am his, he, I'm his interpreter. I am his ears and it is extremely difficult to communicate with him, especially when he's in the middle of a massive heart attack. Um, and he is screaming and clawing at his chest and begging for mercy. And it's, 
it's extremely hard to communicate with him. So I'm so grateful for the uh, for the all the ICU nurses that uh, that rallied around um, us. But I don't want to ramble on about that. But I, I just want to come on and let you guys know that your prayer requests that you're sending are being prayed for. You are not forgotten. You are loved more than you will ever know um, by the Father. And you are loved by all of us um, here at uh, Brides of the Harvest uh, because we have prayer warriors waiting and standing by for prayer requests. So just because I haven't responded to your emails doesn't mean that I'm igno- It doesn't mean that you're not loved and prayed for. It just means I haven't taken the time to respond. Um, my dad does not have internet access here at the house. So I have to go to a McDonald's or when I go to a certain doctor's office, I can log on there as a guest and then I can upload. Um, but I am filming this um, at his house and I will try to get this uploaded tomorrow. Um, so anyway, um, that's it. I just want to let you not guys know what's going on. Um, and don't judge me for the way I look because it is, it's pitiful. It's just pitiful. But I have had the most glorious time honoring and supporting my father and my dad. And you know what, what is so special is, you know, he adopted me when I was a month old. After the father protected me from multiple abortion attempts to end my life. And I get there and I, I get to I get to sit there and hold my daddy's hand and say, Thank you for wanting me. Thank you for wanting my brother. Thank you for wanting us and giving us the last name. Thank you. And it hit, we have had some glorious moments and I and I wouldn't change that for the world regardless of how exhausted I am. So, um, my dad knows things are happening. And in fact, we're, he has a nurse coming to the house now, which is wonderful. Um, uh, but he's getting things in order and he's showing me where things are. And I mean, to the point of, talking to the funeral home, you know, I mean, and he's started his own obituary. So that's where we're at. And he knows it. So anyway, um, that's all I have to say to you guys, but I love you tremendously and I miss you even more. And, uh, just keep sending the emails, keep sending your prayer requests. Just know if you need prayer, just know that you're loved and the father wants you to seek him out. Um, And just remember, it is the glory of Yah to conceal the matter. It's the honor of kings to search it out. And I pray that he blesses you tremendously. But just don't give up seeking his righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things, all the, everything else will be added unto you. It's a promise. And I know it's, I know it's a promise because that's what he did for us. So, um, I love you guys. And, um, if any trolls come on here and talking about how pitiful I look, well, you know what? (laughs) I will love you and I will love my enemies. So there. So how's that for being an exhausted, um, daughter (laughs) daughter of the king? So anyway, I got to get to bed. We have an early day tomorrow um, and I got to get him up and get all of his medicines in him and make sure he's okay. And and, uh, prayerfully, we won't have to go back to the hospital for for quite a while. I'm praying. I'm praying. So anyway, I love you guys. It was great talking with you and I hope you have a great day tomorrow and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.